Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can create smooth and sexy moves from kind of like basic boring looking ones by using this one simple trick. My mission with this channel is to get you from the sidelines onto the dance floor and make you start enjoying yourself when it comes to dancing, whether it's at a party, at a club or at a wedding. And a small thing you can do to help me reach more people who are interested in learning how to dance is by clicking the like button, subscribing to my channel, hitting the notifications bell so you're notified whenever I post. If you want to know how I help my clients, like for example, Taylor, go from looking rigid and uncomfortable to looking like this, Check out my brand new 45 minute free masterclass when I'm spilling all my secrets. You will find the link in the description underneath this video. And if you'd like to become confident when it comes to dancing in social settings, maybe you want to stop avoiding the dance floor, stay tuned till the end of this video. I'm going to explain how we can work together inside my online dance program where you can learn with my proven system, my feedback and my guidance all the way through. So if you did that in the club, that would not look very great. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll push the hip to the side and you can do this move even if you cannot dance. It's super simple. So what happens here, I'm going to bend one knee, keep the other leg straight so that the hip can pop up. You don't have to add the hips on your own. They will automatically move like that. Just keep one knee bent and one leg totally straight. And that's it. You see, so this will look much different than this. You see? So this is option number one. Option number two, we're going to add a little bit more difficult thing, a hip roll to the back. So if I bend my left knee, my right hip, it will come up, but also I'll be pushing it to the back wall. So it goes back, then you switch, back, back, back. So it's kind of like a, you know, figure eight that we have with the hips and I taught that on my channel uh, before, but it's now mixed in with this one knee at a time action. And this movement looks so much smoother, right? If this is hard for you to, to get, the best way to get it is to start with that first version where we just push the hip up because this will teach you which hip has to go back. Like it will be easier, you won't have to think about it because the hip is already going up. So just push it backwards. Push, push, push. And that's it. Those are the two moves. Let me show you with the music. Let's start with our basic boring version. Just a minute groove. Then keep the arms bent. Let's add the hip up. You don't have to do anything specific with the arms. Let them do whatever they want to do. Just keep them close. And on every beat, you're bringing one knee forward at a time. Okay, now we'll keep the same pace, keep the same hip, but push it back. Movement number two, I'm sure you know this one and I've taught it on my channel plenty of times. It's a good old two-step, just side to side. Again, not, not much going on with this one. Here, we're just moving the feet. Uh, so let's make it more exciting. The first thing we're going to do, the first kind of portion, instead of the hips, I'll switch it up a little bit and I'm going to add the upper body, the torso. So as you're going to step open, you're going in one direction, you're going to bring the same shoulder as the foot that you're stepping out with down so that the torso tilts. So you have a little dip. And then you come up when the feet are together. So we have dip, up, dip, up. It's very important that you start the dip with the torso at the same time as the feet open. This will be a cue for you to go down, down, up, down, up. This already is making the movement look more smooth, right? Because the smooth action of the torso is what makes it look like that. And option number two, if you prefer the hips, this one will be a little bit harder. As you step open, we're going to push the opposite hip out to the side and back. 
So again, I don't know what I have with the figure eight today, but we're going to add a figure eight hips to this movement. If I step with my right foot to the side, my left hip pushes a little bit at an angle forward and then back. And this happens at once, right? At the same time, boom. And then you just bring the feet together, nothing happens. Same thing, the other hip, angle it forward a little bit so you have space to move it back and roll together. Let's try a few times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the knees bent the entire time so that the hips can move easier. And there you have it. Looking much different than old boring two-step. For what seems like forever Try to hold it together But I'm losing my grip I need someone Who can make me feel better Wrap me up in a sweater Treat my pain with a kiss Then suddenly you are here Inside my head everywhere Where did you come from? The last movement that we're going to transform will be a step tap. So we'll do something with the feet. <laughs> You're going to put one foot flat, the other one just touch the toes to the floor. And again, this is the foundation of this movement, so it's not going to look that great. Um, let's make it more exciting by adding the hips. So the first movement that you're going to do is you're going to just lift the hip over the foot that it's doing the tap. So again, I step flat on one, then the other one, push the hip up, then foot flat, switch feet, hip up. One, two, one, two, and then, you know, after you lift it, don't just hold it up, <laughs> the hip, but let it drop. So you're just accenting for like a split second. Okay? One, two, one, two, one, two. So on the snare, hip goes up. The other option that we're going to try is a dip with the same footwork. So you're going to go step, dip, it's like a U shape, and then tap the opposite toe. Opposite to whatever way you're going with the hip. So watch again. I step, I dip that way towards the foot I'm standing on, tap the other foot, just the toes touch, switch. Dip, tap, dip tap and very quickly if you're not familiar with the dip i taught it before on my channel but this is essentially a u shape that we create with the hips just swinging them from one side to the other one two one two with the feet one two one two one two and one two don't uh, don't bring the feet too wide apart make sure it's comfortable for you to stand like that Make sure you're balanced, and that's it. Try to hold it together, Option one. I'm losing my grip. I need someone who can make me feel better. Wrap me up in a sweater, treat my pain with a kiss. Then suddenly you are here inside my head everywhere. With Guys, if you are uncomfortable dancing social settings, you tend to avoid the dance floor because you don't know what to do, remember that I can help. In my online dance program, Confidence Through Dance, I help adults go from the sidelines to thriving in social dance situations by building their dance skills and their confidence using my step-by-step -step system. System that in the past nearly 18 years helped students like 
Monica go from no skills and looking rigid to a skilled and confident social dancer, or students like Taylor, who went from no moves and unsure what to do to freely expressing herself on the dance floor. Below this video, you'll find a link to apply to a free consultations with me, where we're going to discuss what I can help you with, how I can help you with it, and hopefully we can get you dancing. Also below, check the link to my free masterclass. It's a brand new 45 minute training where I'm spilling my secrets on how I became confident when it comes to dancing in front of others and how I was able to teach thousands of students achieve their dance goals as well. I'm going to show you guys how to connect those movements together just so we can practice transitions more. Um, if you follow along with me, you'll know how to later on the dance floor connect those movements, how to go from one to the next. But before that, let me know in the comments did that help? <laughs> Did that help you make the movements look more exciting? Because I can create a lot more tutorials just like this one where I take a boring basic kind of move and turn it into a better looking one. <laughs> so let me know in the comments. You're off my freedom 